Hey everybody, it's Argon657 here, and today I bring you another Pokemon Aorus Wi-Fi battle. This battle is against the YouTuber Elias Likevolt. His channel will be in the description below. But anyways, um, he's going to start off with his Dredagon. I'm going to start off with my Cobalion. And I am going to set up the Stealth Rocks, and he is going to go for the Glare, so it's going to slow down my Cobalion, but, which is not a huge deal, though. Um, he does set up his own rocks. I go for the Vault Switch, and I say it's not a big deal because I have Chansey with Heal Bell. So, I could pretty much just go into Chansey at any time and just go for the Heal Bell. So, I'm going to go to my Starmie, though, because I want to hit it with the Ice Beam. So, um, it does a nice chunk, though, and, uh, he is going to paralyze my Starmie. So, um, um... However, I do have the natural cure, so I'm just gonna go back to my Cobalion to see what move it's gonna he's gonna go for. Um, he goes for the Dragon Tail and phases me out into my Excadrill. So now I'm gonna go to my Tyranitar because I do wanna um, get some damage off of him. Um, he does go for the Glare again, so. Um, but this is actually my Mega T-Tar. Um, my Cobalion was the Stealth Rocker, so T-Tar is not the Stealth Rocker. It is a Mega. So I am going to Mega Evolve. Um, he does go for the Taunt. Um, I guess he was expecting me to go for a Status Move, but I have all attacking moves. So I'm just going to go for the Earthquake and finish him off. So now he's going to go to his Regirock over here. And I'm going to switch out because I'm going to need Tyranitar for later. I do go to my Chansey because I know that I can heal Bell, um, and I can take any move that he goes for. He goes for the Power Up Punch, so it's pretty interesting moves because uh, it raises your attack by one stage. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go for the Heal Bell, and uh, he is going to go for the Power Up Punch again. Um, I am going to go for the Toxic, though, because at this point, I don't really need Chansey anymore because I have just got rid of the Paralysis. So, he is going to go for the Drain Punch and finish me off. So, that's not a big deal because I have plenty of Pokemon to counter this uh, Regirock. So now, I'm going to go to my Cobalion over here. I know that he can go for the Earthquake, but... Uh, I know that I can live one earthquake but he actually goes for the drain punch so um, I do go for the iron head though just hoping for the flinch um, he does uh, get some health back though because of the drain punch but the toxic damage will rack up so I decide I'm just gonna go for the close combat just to get as much damage as possible before he's able to take me out with any move he goes for he goes for the power up punch um, I thought he would probably go for an Earthquake, but he probably doesn't have Earthquake. I'm not so sure if he has it or not. He probably doesn't, though, because he didn't go for it. But anyways, I'm just going to go to my Hoopa and just Revenge Kill with the Hyperspace Fury. Um, the Regirock is pretty much gone. So, I am Scarfed, though, so I'll be able to outspeed pretty much everything on his team unless he has a Scarf himself. So, I'm just going to go for the Hyperspace Fury, and uh, it's going to do a huge chunk to this Mammoth Swine. And uh, he's going to go for the knockoff, and that is going to take me out in one hit. So now, um, he gets the leftovers, and I'm going to go to my Starmie over here, and I should have went for the Hydro Pump. I should have went for the Hydro Pump over here instead of the Ice Beam, because the Ice Beam will not be enough to take out the Mammoth Swine. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna, um, go for the Ice Shard. He does go for the knockoff, though, but it's gonna get to a point where he does go for the Ice Shard and takes me out. So now, he still has a Mammoth Swine, however, um, I am gonna go to my Tyranitar. And I know that, um, I can pretty much take any hit he goes for, um, and I know that I'm also faster too, so I'm just going to go for the Iron Head and take him out. So now, he's going to go to his Magmortar. And I wasn't sure if I was going to outspeed or not, but he does outspeed me. And luckily, 
Uh, he misses the Focus Blast, and I'm able to take him out with the Earthquake. Um, he's going to go to his Electivire over here, and uh, he probably has the Cross Chop. And he does go for the Cross Chop, and he does take me out. But I still have my Excadrill, and I am uh, Jolly Nature, and I also have the ability Stand Rush. So I'll definitely be able to outspeed this Electivire. Um... I am going to go for the Earthquake and just take out this Electivire. So now, um, his last Pokemon is his Espeon. So, um, I am going to go for the Earthquake and I'm able to take out this Espeon. So, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to leave a comment below in the description. Click the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.